In this video, I want to talk about a synthetic call option. By a synthetic call option, I mean we're going to create a payoff that looks like a call option without actually purchasing a call option. This is one of the real interesting things about using put and call options. You're able to create all kinds of payoff pictures. So how do you create this payoff picture? Well, one way to do it is to have a long position in a stock and then to purchase a put option that is sometimes referred to as a protective put. So let's let's take a look at the payoff pictures here. The payoff for a long position in the stock looks like this. You bought the stock at in this example at 79 and 7 16 If the price falls to zero you lose $79 and 7, uh, 79 and 7 16 and of course there's no limit to how high the price can go that's why the arrow is pointing up for every dollar goes above 79 and 7 16 you make a dollar for every dollar goes below 79 and 7 16 you lose a dollar now suppose we look at the payoff picture for a put option and here we're going to look at a Microsoft August 75 put which is selling for 1 and 13 sixteenths. By an August 75 put we mean an option that expires in August and has an exercise price of 75. And it's a put option and a put option allows you to sell at the exercise price regardless of what the actual price is. So you buy a put option because you think the price will go down or you buy it to protect yourself in case the price goes down. So in this case the cost is 1 and 13 sixteenths and if the price of the of Microsoft is above seventy five dollars a share there's no reason to use the right to sell to somebody at seventy five if you own the shares and you wanted to sell them you just sell them in the open market for 78 or 80 or 90 or whatever they were selling for. But when the price falls below $75 a share, you're able to sell it at this higher price. So if the price falls to $40 a share, you can buy it at 40 and sell it at 75 so you make a profit. Now, let's see here. The break even point here, this is where it crosses this axis, this x axis is 73 and 3 sixteenths. Why is that? Because you paid 1 and 13 sixteenths for this option, so the stock price has to fall by 1 and 13 sixteenths. So you take 75 and subtract 1 and 13 sixteenths, you get 73 and 3 sixteenths. So that's where you break even. If it falls below 73 and 3 sixteenths, you make money. The most money you can make is 73 and 3 sixteenths because the best that can happen for you in this position is for the price of the stock to fall to zero so you can theoretically buy it for zero and sell it for 75 and minus the uh, cost of the option so you make 73 dollars and 3 sixteenths so let's look at a, a payoff um, matrix for the two positions if you buy the stock at 79 and 7 16 we have some different prices here. If the price falls to zero, you lose $79, 79 and 7 16 dollars. If it goes to 30, you lose 49 and 7 16 right? If it goes to 60, you lose 19 and 17 16 right? Easy enough. Just take this and subtract the price. Um, or actually take the price and subtract the price you paid for it, that's why you get the negative number here. Okay, if the price goes up to 90, you make 10 and 9 sixteenths. And if it goes up to uh, 105, you make 25 and 9 sixteenths. Now, if you buy this put option, this gives you the right, but not the obligation, to sell at 75 a share. And if the price is above 75 or 75 or above, you're not going to use it. You're just going to lose the premium of 1 and 13 sixteenths. When the price falls to 60, what's going to happen here? 
you can buy it at 60, sell it at 75, so 75 minus 60 is a $15 profit minus the one and 13 sixteenths you paid for. So you're going to make 13 and 3 sixteenths dollars per share. Okay. And then likewise, if it falls to 30, you'll make 43 and 3 sixteenths. So if we sum these table, these two going down, because that's how we're going to create our synthetic call, we're going to combine these two. What do you see here? You see that if you net these out, okay, so this plus this, the worst that happens is you lose six and a quarter. If the price is 75 and below, you lose six and a quarter. If it goes above that, you start making money. So if it gets to 90, you make eight and three quarters. If it goes to 105, you make 23 and three quarters. Let's take a look at what the payoff diagram looks like. Okay, here we have just a summary of what I just said. And let's take a look at the payoff diagram. We saw from the table that you weren't going to lose more than six and a quarter. Okay, remember if you own the stock, you could lose as much as uh, the price of the stock. Okay, now for every dollar it goes above 75, you make a dollar. And so once you get to 81 and a quarter, 75 plus the cost of this, which is 81 and a quarter, you break even. And for any price above that, you um, are making a profit. And you'll notice this looks exactly like a call option. This is exactly the same payoff picture as a call option. So here you've created a call option without actually buying a call. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, one reason to do it is I own the stock. I don't want to sell the stock, but I'm scared that the price may go down. So I can buy a put to protect myself. All right. One example I've given in other videos is that if it's December or November of, of, of some year and you're planning to sell your stock because you're going to use the money as a down payment on a house or maybe a, um, you're going to use the proceeds to start a business in the coming year, um, you might want to postpone selling the stock. Why? Because if you can postpone selling the stock until the new year, you won't have to pay the capital gains tax until the following year. So while you don't want to lose any money, you're still concerned that um, you're still going to try and maximize your tax strategy by postponing realizing the gain. Also, you may think that you know what, I still think there's a chance that the stock will go up a little bit. So if I buy a put option, it'll protect me on the downside, but if the stock shoots up, I'm still going to make a little bit more profit. So there are a number of reasons for doing this, and here we've created this synthetic call option simply by combining the purchase of a put option with our long position in the stock.